All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It. Please stick around after the intro. I need to talk to you guys. I need to show you guys where to go in the event of certain things, okay? I want to make sure you have access to the data, the new data that the Lord's given me. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of very strange things happening. Uh, a lot of my data is disappearing, actually disappearing from our show note links, which is very disturbing. Uh, actual information that we're putting in our show notes is not going in and it's being removed. Uh, there have been over, I believe, close to two dozen Obama videos that we posted on another channel uh, that have been removed from YouTube. We weren't made aware of this. No one made us aware of it. They were very... Uh, quietly removed without any notifications nothing was uh sent out there was no uh emails to say hey by the way we removed all these videos uh which would suggest that they're trying to scrub the internet which would suggest that there's something coming in the very near future where they would not want that content out there so please stay tuned so i can show you where to go information to get where to get it and what to do with it okay Y'all ready? Let's begin. Let's begin with the most obvious thing. I'm going to ask the whole world a couple questions right now. Who would build a set of buildings in the shape of two serpents? Why would any group of people do that? Why does the Bible say, whoever loves the world or the things of the world has not the love of God in them. Well, if there's buildings on the earth that are built in the shape of serpents, one wearing a crown, birthing a serpent from itself, that's called parthenogenesis, virgin genesis. So in the beginning, if there is a form of reptilian beings that was able to form a host body system through parthenogenesis, that would be a good reason to build buildings in the shape of your God, which is Satan, because Satan is the serpent. To make it even more telling, why would the mouth of the serpent be giant dead sheep? Giant dead sheep made up of a bunch of angels. And even more curiously, why would that window turn into the female reproductive system when it's turned upside down and the male reproductive system right side up? So where male meets female makes an X. X marks a spot. And it shows that the angels are melting, turning into semen, which goes with the fact that there's male and female reproductive systems there. And oddly enough, the entire altar of all the angels that are coming into the mouth of the serpent, the entire thing turns into a giant insect. Why? So the large bug is harvesting that energy from the angels? There's this thing called the papal regalia. If you look at it, it's a very oddly carved piece of a marble or whatever the rock is it's very strange but if you look at it you can't really tell that it's anything except two keys but if you have the gift that the Lord God gave me I can see it's obviously locusts who's the king of the locusts Revelation 9 verse 11 they had a king over them the angel of the bottomless pit Apollyon Satan Satan which is the serpent is the king of the locusts well that's perfect because the whole big giant altar the mouth of the serpent the vagina is a big bug harvesting angels in the form of semen and then the post the canopy which in Ezekiel says I will exalt my throne speaking about Lucifer I will exalt my throne the word throne is canopy, and it means the flesh. I will exalt my flesh throne above the stars, a.k.a. princes of El, the Almighty God. That's why there's locusts coming out of the pit on the corners 
of the canopy. Why else would there be locusts coming out of the pit on the corner of the canopy? Why else would there be the queen of heaven on the corner posts of the canopy representing the flesh? Why else would there be a dragon on the corner posts? Because the dragon, the serpent, Satan owns it all and they're doing it all inside of his buildings whether or not it's audience hall or whether or not it's the vatican proper they're both serpents who is the enemy of god's angels <laughs> it's pretty obvious now isn't it okay i'm going to pause it there and then now, now i want to talk to you for just a minute please okay please pay attention when i produce show notes, the show note links that we have, I go and I take the data that I have and I insert it into different folders. Let me show you what I'm talking about so you can understand here real quick. One moment. I want to show you what's been happening. So these are the show notes um, right here. These are, this is the end, the show note link. Let me go to the, uh, let me go to the homepage. So you see what it looks like. So right here, when you log on to show notes right here. Okay. Then we have different, different links you can go to. This is special projects one, which are special projects one, by the way, already suffered an attack where all the images that are in order to tell a story, it was attacked. So each folder was like throwing up a deck of cards in the air and nothing was in order anymore, which is almost impossible to go back and do all the work because everything was delivered by by the Lord to me in in a sequence, and then I arrange it, and it tells a story. Um, so Special Projects 1 got hit. So we made arrangements to protect that from happening in the future. And so we have some backup plans. Um, so. As we've been adding some imagery and some some links to these folders, for example, right here, and this is what I want you to get right now. Um, there is right here one called links for support right here. Now, as we've been adding some of these links right here, specifically the ones right here, why is Joe Biden talking about the Imam Mahdi? Uh, Joe Biden speaks about speaks at Million Muslim Vote Summit. Joe Biden is talking about the Imam Mahdi real footage. Um, as we're trying to add some of these links, they are being removed from our folders. That's very bizarre. As we continued to put them in, then they were being refused by the folders. Do you all understand that means there's got to be some source or some reason or yeah, can you imagine not being able to add an active link to a folder? Just try and wrap your head around that. Okay, why? Don't Okay, so I'm telling you right now the the some of the ones that I'm going to show you right now, they are not in these folders. They won't even let them go in now. We had I believe two dozen Obama videos that are no problem with YouTube. They have no problems being on YouTube. Two dozen Obama videos that I produced were mysteriously scrubbed off of YouTube. They're gone. So when I go back to my folders to get this video that I want to show you guys, show you guys and say, look, I told you so, guys, right? It's gone. Thank God we have backups. The night that the Lord was giving me all this information, which was a couple nights ago, as I was processing going, okay, we're going to put this here. And I was getting ready to deliver this to you guys. Guess what? The very next day, our entire show note server went down. And it said unrecoverable errors. We got in touch with the, uh, uh, we had to call get in touch with the administration and the, you know, the ones, the people that run those sites and uh, have we got things restored by the grace of God. Thank you. Other people, y'all know who you are, who memorializes. Thank you so much because the orders would have been destroyed. Even if we had the images backed up and even if we had the data backed up, it would have been a nightmare. We got it restored. However, the links that I'm talking about will not go into our folders. 
Why? They're already on YouTube on other platforms, but the uh, not other platforms on other channels. They're already on YouTube, which is the platform, but they're on other people's channels, and it's not a copyright issue at all. They just don't want us to have them for some reason. Do you find that strange? Well, do y'all know I did uh, I did a video. You can find it in the collectfiles.com. It's called The Sun Rising in the West, The Antichrist Unveiled. Well, y'all, let me show you a couple pictures you may not know about, and I'm just going to do this in this video. But I'm going to make this kind of a short video, but I'm going to continue right now working on your next video. But I want to show you something. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to present this folder next. It's called uh, The Goddess of Discord. Her name is Eris. Um, I'm going to put something up on your screen right now. I want you to read it. I'm not going to read it. I just want to show it to you. I want you guys just to read what's on your screen right now. Right here. So that's that's odd because what I'm going to present to you is the goddess. That's the goddess Eris right there. And she is well known for presenting an apple. And you can go type this online. You look on her arm right here. Uh, there's an X through the middle of a cross. It's two X as well. I am the darkest wars and strife. I have caused all manner of death. Eris, Eris is the goddess of discord and strife and this is a shield that she has, by the way, which is a right side up star, like an angel. And you see one's right side up when this is an apple. And the apple, you'll see it very commonly uh, in Greek uh, right here. And it's Kalisti. Kalisti. And I'm just going to show you this. Um, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. That's just another example of it written in Greek. And it's Kali. Do you ever hear of Kali? Kali, the goddess of destruction, Kali. Um, but let me show you what Kali means real quick. So you guys know where I'm going to be going with some of this. Oh, the ever clever one, Eris fashioned a solid gold apple and engraved the word Kali upon it. Kali in Greek means to the prettiest one okay which you will find over and over and over all you got to do is type in eris and i want you to look at the symbology you see that k they present it very often with a k as just like a line with a triangle hitting the line and you see the you see the right side up upside down You see how it's one hand above, and this is a serpent on her arm, a uh, serpent going both ways. And there's an apple, and there's one hand going up, one hand going down, like this. Okay, and this is the normal presentation or manifestation of Eris, the goddess of discord and strife. And that happens to be the name of a new strain of something that's come out now. Okay, now, let me show you what to do right now. And if anything goes wrong and my videos start disappearing and stuff, there's backup plans to go to other platforms and you can go find us. You can always go check this channel right here because I can post some stuff over there as a guest. So you can go over here and find it. Um, and if you right now get the link right here to you get the link to the show notes right here and when you go and you click on that link i want you to look right here you these are all different platforms that you can find me on see it all these are different places you can go to say if or for some reason you don't see me out there for three or four days you're like where's clack just go check those links. Uh-huh. And I'll try and post stuff in the This Is It Facebook group. 
I do not participate in Facebook. There's people that keep an eye on it for me, but I do post updates in case something is going on. Okay, now, again, for me to be trying to put uh, links like a, a YouTube link into a folder and for it to be being removed and or stopped. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's another thing. I've been sending out emails to people that I've been sending emails to for over a decade. My emails that go to other people show up with big red banners warning this is a harmful email. To people I've been sending emails to on a daily for years and years and years. Does that seem weird? Okay, I want you to understand my equipment fails for no reason. My audio will go out. I will send a video that I need that we're going to work on. I'll send it uh, to one of the people I work with and say, I need you to do this. And it will show up with no visual. There's just all kinds of stuff happening right now. So I need you guys to be aware. Also, about once every month or two months, whatever, I asked people if you would please support the ministry. Uh, now would be a good time. Uh, uh, if you can help us just a little bit. Uh, some people that have been with the ministry for a while have had to have massive, sur pretty massive surgery. And they've been out of work uh, for quite a while now. And we've been helping. We always try and help where we can. And I'm trying. It's really, it could almost be like a... Uh, a barn raising party for an individual that needs help. And uh, I told him I would try and for sure help him. So I, I said, when I go on YouTube, I'll mention it and I'll try and uh, help pay some bills for some people, particularly one person that's been through surgery and has been out of work. So anyway, let me show you real quick. If you want to do that, uh, if you want to go to PayPal, uh, that's one way to do it. Um, so if you go to PayPal, you can go to Jonathan Kleck. Um, the you can. I'm sorry. Let me do that again. It's J K. It's J K. At Jonathan Kleck. Dot. Com. J, J K at jonathancleck.com. There you go. So if you want to do a PayPal thing, you can do it there. That would be awesome. Or you can go to P.O. Box 91281 San Antonio, Texas 78209. So there you go. And you can always pause this video and make sure. Anyway, there it is. And so now I've kept my word. I told somebody I would do this and try and help raise a little bit of money to help them out. Okay, now, weird, weird, weird things are going on right now. I'm going to post this video right now because I don't want anything to happen to this. I want to make sure you guys get this. I don't want to attach this to the video I'm getting ready to do. The video I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to give you guys information that is out there on YouTube, but because of the way things have been going, uh, I'm going to separate it so you have this separately. Okay, once again, I will post the show note link right here. Watch this. I'm going to go to this link right here. This is what you'll see on your page when you log on. You'll see the special projects folder, uh, and you can click on special projects two right here and then all these links right here see these odyssey it says new jonathan old zach old channel corey um i would look for the ones that say new new uh and then if it says new that's a good place to go look uh jonathan cleck uncensored right here you see jonathan cleck uncensored we have a lot of stuff there that are not on other platforms uh, that has been attacked previously, and we have memorialized it, and we also have it in other very safe places that's not available to the general public in case we need it. Um, there it is. Get this link right here. Get these. Put these up. Okay, now we're going to bust into the links right here.
We're going to bust into this. You see all these right here? Y'all should watch all of these. I mean, y'all should watch. Just check these out. And this is the folder that immediately came under attack and links were being removed. Why? Why would they do that? Who would do that? First of all, who would do it? Then why? Well, then to find out you have two dozen videos that have been secretly, quietly taken off YouTube on somebody else's channel that works with me. And they took them all down. They didn't say one word about it. Just, they're not there. But we have them in all the folders. So when we go to look for them, I'm like, where is it? It's been removed. Why? Okay, and I think what I'm about to show you will explain why. Okay? All right. This one's going up right now. I'm going to make sure this one's up, and then I'm coming back to show you the whys. <laughs> okay. Hey, y'all want to see a cartoon? Y'all like Calvin and Hobbes? Used to be my favorite comic strip. Let me show you something very strange about Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, uh, don't forget, we're in their world, and before you, uh, before you get converted, there's something else running you. Let me see what happened. Uh, maybe uh, that's been removed as well. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I'll try the locust, locust, locust folder, and I'll try down at the bottom where it should be. And surprise, I don't see it. What in the world? Hang on. All right, folks. Uh, listen, I want to tell you something that just happened. What I did was I, I set my headset down. I left this computer station. I went to another one. I have several different computer stations. I went to another station and I checked on what I was doing. This computer and the show note link just went, quit working. While I'm doing this video, this is very common. These things happen. All of a sudden, my audio goes out. All of a sudden, I have all these weird problems while I'm trying to produce just a simple video, problems I never used to have. I went inside to another computer station, no problem. Perfect. I come back out here, problems. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's fascinating. So what does that tell you? That means there's some kind of an effort or that's being made to stop y'all from getting the same information that you can find on YouTube in other places. You can find, see what I'm showing you, I'm taking from other places that I see the spiritual aspect of. The difference between what I'm doing and what this, the other YouTube channel may have the same data, they are not tying it to the Bible, to the right side up, upside down paradigm from the Bible, which is all I do. 100% nylon, 100% no lion. Image of the virgins, a dead uh, a virgin is really a dead sheep. See, what's really fascinating, and I noticed too, is the Lord even let me live a life where I manifested the exact same thing. I mean, there I am skydiving upside down with fangs on, and there it is, sky surfing with the space shuttle launching, and I look like I'm crucified. The system is you're upside down, and then when you get accept Christ as your Savior, you get inverted. You get converted. The word converted means turn quite around. It's not possible that I manifested those two things in my life. You know, skydiving, falling, falling like you're falling out of heaven with fangs on. And then I'm crude, look like I'm crucified. I literally look like I'm crucified. And that's the space shuttle discovery launching. See, discovery get it discovery i discovered the truth the lord gave me the truth that's not possible so obviously i've been chosen to do what i do and i've come under all kinds of very wacky attacks and i just want you guys to get the data right now on this video so you have it off to the side now i'm going to stop and i'm going to continue i went and added a link i went and added an image let's see if it's going to work for me or a if it's just going to continue to do the buffering thing, which is what happens. Let's see if I'll be able to get it to work again. I got it to come up. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Let me show you something. Now, remember, 
what the Lord's let me show you is that the female energy is connected to the pit, 2X, which is insects, locusts from the pit. The Lord's let me show you the canopy in the Vatican. The corners of the canopy, canopy are locusts coming out of the pit. Well, that's perfect because, see, the host body is an illusion and it's used to trap an angel to turn it into a locust from the pit. That's what the earth is all about. It's proven. It's not that I think so. The Lord has let me show you and he's let me tie it to the Bible. That's why I see other people with some of the information on different videos that I use. Their stuff is A-OK, -okay, but if I do it, uh, just like Mark Dice used... Uh, about 30 seconds of a video that I used about 10 seconds of. Mark Dice has the exact same video. No problem. I got a strike for it. Why? Because I'm tying it to the Bible. That's why. Okay, now, the female energy from the pit is what's creating the locust system that's coming out of the pit because when the pit opens, locusts come out of the pit. They're going to sting men. Men will seek death. They will not find it. They'll desire to die and death will flee from them. Okay, so how do the locusts get their energy? What is the source of the locust energy? It's angels that get trapped in the host body system. What's the locust energy? It's female energy. So the female energy is producing this system of bugs, locusts, with tails like scorpions. That's what this is all about. The Lord's let me prove that. Not just say it like, oh, this is what I think. This is a supernatural spiritual gift. Now watch this. Ready? Let me show you Calvin and Hobbes. Look what he says. Do you hate being a girl to Susie? It's got to be better than the alternative. What's it like? Is it like being a bug? Okay, what? <laughs> like a what? I imagine bugs and girls have a dim perception that nature played a cruel trick on them, but they lack the intelligence to really comprehend the magnitude of it. I mean, look at what he's doing and look at his elbows, like the hindecogram. Same as the top of the hindecogram. I must have put my finger on it. Look. He got turned upside down. When I turn this upside down and I draw it in, it makes a face of another man, just like the Virgin. I must have put my finger on it. And look what she does. She slams him and turns him upside down. Do you know what you're looking at is miraculous, just to be able to show you that? Many prophets and kings have desired to see what you can see and cannot. Blessed are your eyes for your eyes see. So that's why there's numerous false prophet channels against Jonathan Cleck. None of those people have laid hands on sick people and they've recovered. I've laid hands on a pretty good swath of people now. I have, I went up to New Mexico, laid hands on uh, Richard's father. He's already had some very wild supernatural uh, manifestations from that, that time where I laid hands on him. And uh, without discussing something that's you know, between him and I, but yes, it's obviously seemed to have its effect. At least it's begun. Um, so the people that claim I'm a false prophet, they've never laid hands on anyone. They, I've laid hands on people that are blind, legally blind, and they see uh, the very person that I laid hands on that was uh, blind. Her grandmother was standing with her and she had a really messed up ankle at the time. And I was holding her on the trip home, her ankle as well. And it's not like some little thing. It was something that had been, she had been dealing with for quite a while. So the point is, I'm doing the works that the Bible says these signs will accompany those that believe on my name while I'm doing those works. While I'm being attacked by people that have done none of the works making their accusations. Does that sound kind of just perfect? Does that sound like back in the day when the apostles were going out doing, doing works and they were being maligned and falsely accused? Well, blessed are you. When men speak all manner of evil about you and uh, falsely for my namesakes, for great is your reward in heaven. We're from heaven, you guys. We are heavenly beings trapped in a twin system. Cleanse your hearts, you double-minded. See, that's the big sin. We're double-minded. Choose this day whom you will serve. If God, if the Lord be God, then serve him. If Baal be God, then serve him. 
Choose this day whom you will serve. Choose. Look up. Pray to the God of heaven. See, there's a God in the pit. It's Apollyon, Satan. And the serpent race is all his little people walking around, leading all God's angels into sin. God's angels are just trapped in host bodies and they don't have any idea what's going on. That's what my ministry is all about. 100% no line. 100% truth. So your eyes become single. It's the most obvious thing in the world. How many people do you know that have been skydiving, that have fangs on, and it says, come out of the darkness into the light? And then the same person gets converted by the Lord God. And he's got himself sky surfing where it looks like he's crucified with the space shuttle Discovery behind me. Now, now, by the way, the the enemy, oh, that's not really Kleck sky surfing. Yeah, okay, whatever. Nah, pfft. he photoshopped it. Okay, yeah, okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you in Christ. Let's take this video. Make sure you get the show note links. Make sure, look, right now, make sure you get every one of these. See these? See these? Look, why is Joe Biden talking about the Imam Mahdi? Why? Joe Biden speaks at Million Muslim Vote Summit. You should hear what he said. Why is Joe Biden talking about the Imam Mahdi? Uh, U.S. President Joe Biden quotes Hadith. Um, why? That's kind of weird. Obama says the future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. There's a lot going on, guys. And like I said, if they're trying to scrub a bunch of old Obama videos, why? That would be because in the future, they don't want them there. That's why. All right. All right. I'm going to let this fly. When I see this is up, I'm going to start loading the next. Pardon me. I'm going to start loading the next one. Here we go.